Hi everyone, this is Richard. In this video, we're going to go over dependency injection in Angular Dart. So I did go over dependency injection on a previous video not associated with Angular Dart. So please go to that. I think it's in the playlist um, Angular Dart for Intermediates. If you don't know what dependency injection is, that's a good review. In Angular, it's a little bit different in how we actually implement it. Okay, so as a review, what dependency injection is, is instantiating a class within a class. And that's all it really is. So let's just make a simple example and then let's try to do a little bit of dependency injection. I'm going to make a very simple web application. Image. I'm going to have an image right here. Give it the height and weight width here. An event binding, right? So when I click on it, it's going to go to the add layers method. And then I'm going to have a div where it says type of flower, lowercase, and I'm going to say flower and layers value equals layers. Okay, so we have these um, in, we know that in the class app component, we, these will be actual variables right inside of there. Okay, so int layers, app component, string flower, add layers, I'm going to change the layers when I click on the image. Okay, and we don't need directives, we don't need providers, it's nice and simple and straightforward. So we'll look at this, like my cake. Okay, that's the best I could find, all right? So I click on it, type of flower white, layers equals 400. Very, very simple, okay? But what if later on, I wanna refactor this, so I wanna change it around a little bit, make my application more extensible. What I'm gonna probably wanna do is say, wait a minute, I might wanna make a lot more cake objects in the future and different types of cake objects. So I'm gonna to wanna to create a class that I can reuse over and over again. So this one I can't really reuse because it's just here. I wanna reuse this, okay, what do I do? I create a separate class. So I cheated a little bit so it'll spare you my typing here. All right, so, and what I'll create is something called the class cake, so that I could create a cake in the future a lot more times or in different types of cakes it'll be just be a lot more flexible so i'll say class cake int layers string flower and what i'll want to do is put at injectable right inside here so that's the annotation that's the decorator and then it tells angular dart that this is going to be an injectable you're not going to instantiate this class other than in another class itself so i will get this class injected into this class right here. And how do I do that? Well, cake and create the variable. So I create the object cake through the injectable. Notice the parentheses. All of these annotations, decorators, excuse me, have these parentheses right here, right? But we don't have a template because this is all we're doing is getting these values here, the, these objects, and putting them inside a different class. Um, and so I'm going to type it here, variable. And then what I'm going to go ahead and do is when I do create the constructor, it will automatically instantiate the object. So the object name cake. And then I'll say cake.layers, dot layers, cake.flower, dot and then I'll give them values. And so up here, when I do click the add layers, same thing, it'll be cake.layers because we're dealing with the cake object now. And so now it's a little bit more flexible in terms of how I use my, my separate object, right? So I'm going to have to change this here because now this is a different object altogether and cake.layers. Lastly, what I'm going to want to do is I still don't need directives, but I will need a provider. And what a provider actually is, is that it says in this template or in this uh, yeah, template, you're, you're going to want to basically inject some class. So if you're going to inject a class into here, what's the name of that class? And that class will be named cake right inside here. So that's just the syntax itself, cake. And then if you have other injectors, put comma, um, just like the directives. So th that's what we'll go ahead and do. So let Angular know, class cake, this is going to be injected inside of here. Use that syntax, the, the at injectable, and let's see if this works because it really should be the same thing, right? We're not really changing functionality at this time. We're just making the code a lot more flexible in the future. So I click on it and it turns the same thing. I think I changed the layers to 500 from 400 from before. Okay. 
So that's how you do dependency injection. Pretty simple and straightforward. I don't think there's it's really all that complicated, but you can imagine if you're going to inject thousands of different things inside of here, it could get real complicated real quick. All right. So just in a nutshell, um, that's dependency injection. Thanks.